escritor é público expenso. So traditional bakery, I have no idea the name of the town. Αν είναι 60 το νερό, απλά πράγματα, άλλα 60 πληρώνεις από χέτευση περίπου, μαζί με τα τέτοια. Το πιστρί από αυτό το μικρό τραγικό μπέκρι. Δεν είναι λίγο γιαμό. Ου, βλέπω αυτό το φλέκι κρουστ. Υπάρχει κάτι μέσα στο κάτω. Ου, ναι, υπάρχει. Πόσο είναι αυτό το κάτω αυτό. As are waiting to take a ferry to the other side of Mount Athos. Watchtower looks over the town, moves over the town. Taking a three-hour cruise past Mount Athos. Mount Athos is a holy mountain and no women are allowed to set foot on it. And the only men that are allowed to set foot on it are monks, men who are doing construction on the mountain and they do allow maybe 10 foreigners a day. But you need papers, you have to apply before that time. Yes, the Athos Peninsula, six miles wide, extends 35 miles into the Aegean Sea and terminates at Mount Athos, which is 6,600 feet high. No roads connect the peninsula to the mainland and access is only by boats. There are at least 20 large monasteries, a dozen smaller ones, hermitages, and about 2,500 monks. Our guide said that lately the churches are all vying with each other to see who can put up the most magnificent church, unlike the old ones. It's basically a cooperative of private Eastern Orthodox monasteries that function as a mini-state. It was granted under a charter granted by the Emperor of Constantinople, now Istanbul, in 972. Would you believe clocks are set by Byzantine time, which starts at sunset, and dates are calculated by the Julian calendar, which is different from the modern Gregorian calendar. If you're Orthodox and allowed to visit Mount Athos, if you have, have the proper papers, this is the biggest port where they would take you and you can come and stay for up to at least 19 days. Pray, there's a restaurant and a post office and even their own customs. And that's Mount Athos at the end. It really looks like it's not connected, but it is. It's just one long peninsula. St. Simon's was destroyed by fire in 1871. The seven stories for galley sails to Mount Athos from another port. This one that's coming up is from the 14th century, and inside, on the Iconos gases is something of pure gold. Katerina is from Belgrade, is that right? Yes. Serbia, she's 13, she speaks wonderful English and she's beautiful. Thanks. Tell me about your, tell me about Belgrade, is it a beautiful city? Uh, yes, it's a very, very beautiful city. Very nice. Yeah. I love my country. Okay. I love your country too. Do you have brothers or sisters? Yes, I have one brother. His name is Stefan. 
He is uh, 23 years old. Does he go to university or does he? Uh, yes, he go to chemistry university. Good for him. Uh, do you want to go to university? What? Do you want to go to university? Uh, yes, of course. What would you like to study? Uh, I like uh, I know, geography. Geography, good for you. Well, I hope you come to Chicago one day, Katrina. Thank you for talking to us.